Hi guys, Chucky Boy here bringing you the semi-finals of the All-Star Cup. If you remember from the last video, we managed to get a 2-1 victory against the Brazilian League All-Stars, which put us through to the semi-finals. And we got drawn against the La Liga All-Stars. So we've got the likes of Ronaldo, Messi, Falcao, etc. all in the same team. So it's going to be a really, really tough game. But let's see what we can do. So let's just go and check, see if we've got any players that are out of form and need changing. So we've got nobody that's purple, but we have got quite a few blues. Uh, do we have anybody at all on a red? No, we do not. Okay, so... I think we might change these two round, just because I liked Van Persie up front last time. And obviously Gerard has to be captain. Apart from that, I think the team, to be fair, might change... Might not change at all. So let's just check the kits. Make sure we don't clash. Maybe we do that and that. Or maybe we just try that and see what happens. We'll just try this and see what happens. Okay, guys, here we go. We're down to the last four now. This is John Champion with Jim Beglin to keep me company. Let's just check the teams. So as you can see, we've got a pretty strong team to face here. It's not really a surprise. We've got Fabregas and Xavi, and then they've got the front three. Messi's not playing, which is good. It's Benzema instead. But we've still got Ronaldo and Falcao playing, so it's going to be really, really tough. So let's see what we can do. Let's see us in goal, obviously. Hoping we can get a decent win here and get through to the final. I think the kits should be okay, just about, so... Shouldn't cause too much trouble with a clash at all. Cristiano Ronaldo. He's offside, thankfully. Was up, just Let's offside. just check see if he was. Yeah, he was offside. So, like I said in the last video, this is not. There's no seriousness about this at all. It's just something a little bit, a little bit different that you can't, you know, you can't normally do on these games that I thought I'd do because I've got the opportunity and. Just something to have a bit of fun. There's no Master League problems coming into this. There's no Derby Days games involved in this. It's just purely fun with really good teams. And I really enjoyed playing the first game. It was nice to play with a team that had got, you know, some real good players. Obviously the best players from the leagues. And as you will also know from my videos, uh, I have changed the settings and I'm still getting used to it. So if I make a mistake, I do apologise, but... It won't stop me making that mistake over and over again because I do make a few. Not sure why he passed that then. He's offside, surely. I hear the whistle. There we go. Thank God for that. Thank God for that. Let's just check. Is Miles off again? That's good. That was quite scary for a second. As I also explained in my last video, these are live commentaries, so I'm not forced to talk all the way through. There might be points where I don't say anything for for a while, but it's purely down to the fact that I'm playing the game and you know trying not to get distracted or anything like that. I'm trying to concentrate on what I'm doing because I would like to win this win this tournament. It would be nice. Ronaldo again. So like I said, I, I would like to win this. I'm not forced to win it, but I would like to win it. It's, you know, that's the idea. And on he goes. Here's Ashley Cole. Gerard. Driven in. Oh, and there's 1 0. Marvellous. Van Persie again. Yes, it was. Turned onto his left foot and slotted it in the bottom corner away from the goalkeeper. As Van Persie does in real life. Yeah, this is a lovely brand 
the football we're watching. They're playing with flair and then That's it, I can take a breath now. A bit of relief now we've got that one goal up. Although if you remember that from the last video we had the same situation and we conceded a goal fairly quickly after that first goal, so I won't get too cocky with it, but it's nice to go a goal up. Let's just skip this replay. So we resume at 1-0. Oh, this fella's Mr. Reliable. Whenever you need to find a goal from somewhere, he delivers. What a top man. The ball's with Gerard. Rooney. Here's Michael. And Yaya Toure. Maicon. Here's Yaya Toure. Oh, just trying to do it a bit too tricky there. Great chance for the counter. A vital no, I knew that was going to happen. Do you know, I wish the goalkeepers had kicked the ball straight away. Unfortunately, it's a little problem we have with this game. For some reason, he wouldn't kick that ball. He should have tried to play offside, probably. But he could have kicked that. Just smashed it clear anyway. I pressed the button plenty early enough. Anyway. So we resume with the scores back level. Yeah, in a game like this, every chance is vital, but they're back on level terms. Here's Yaya Toure. He's got in. And Ashley Cole. Ashley Cole's cross. That was pointless. It was supposed to be a cross, but there's nobody in the box anyway, so it's kind of ridiculous for me to even bother doing that. It's one thing I would hope that they improve for 2014, the crossing and the heading. I mean, I know in the past it's been a little overpowered, but they've turned it down that much this year that there's just no point crossing the ball in half the time. Unless it's low on the ground and you get a touch with a foot, but if you try and get a header, there's not you don't score many headers. I mean, I've scored a few, but nowhere near as, you know, they're not even on target half the time. No, that won't be finding its target. So it's one little improvement that I would like to see. I spoke about that before in an earlier Derby Days video, that the heading was really bad. He's onside. So yep, get in the way of that cross. Ball in. Nearly got a touch on that one. I was trying to have a shot then, then I realised it was Vidic at first, and so I had to pass it out, and then it went to Mykon, so that wasn't much better. Just trying to get a quick shot off there before the defender closed me down, but I just couldn't get it on target. Should have had a touch first. It was a nice through ball there from Van Persie. Uh, Gerard, sorry. And I should have had a touch. 
close though. But should have been on target, definitely. Fabio Coetrao, Xavi. Finds him well. Out towards the byline. He's offside. Sorry if you can hear anything in the background, but um, it's for some reason now I've started recording. There decides to be a load of trains going around the back of the house. I mean, at the back of my house is a train line, and it's normally quiet all day, but of course, now I'm recording this video, then it's decided to make loads of, you know, loads of trains going down at all times. So if you hear it, I'm apologising, but not a great deal I can do about it. I really don't want penalties. I really don't want to have to play penalties. If you watch my Derby Days video with the FA Cup game, you know I've spoke about my penalty history in this game on that on that video. So if you know how bad it actually is. I knew that couldn't. We've got a man on the left on the. Come on. Here's Gerard. Now through to Rooney. Rooney. I really don't want to get to penalties. And it just goes to show you how effective those through balls can be. All it needed was a better execution. Well, that's one all after 90 minutes. We've got extra time. I've got automatic substitutions on, um, so I don't have to make them manually. It's not always the best idea in the world, but it's you know it's not. Whoever he brings on is going to be a good player, so it's not really a problem when you're doing things like this. Okay, guys, sorry there again. Yet again, for some reason, when I'm recording at the moment, my screen keeps minimising to desktop, and I've got no idea what what happens during the game. But we've, I've literally just clicked it back on and paused it as soon as possible, so... And I think they're quite near my net, which is quite scary. So we're just going to carry on from here. He shoots there. Thank God for that. The ball's with yeah, I'm not really sure why that's happening, but it's happening quite a bit at the moment. So if anyone knows of any way to get rid of that, then please let me know. And he has a go. Shabby, that's it out. Falcao's cross. And the cross is too long. Sloppy pass. Intercepted. Gerard. Great through ball over the top. Tried to play it through. Good oh, we've done it. Scored. What a goal. That Van Persie five. again. Do you know nobody else has scored a goal yet? Oh, Bale, sorry. I forgot all about that one. <laughs> I got excited then. But yes, that's the goal we wanted. Let's hope we can either get another one or at least not concede one more. The nice through ball there. I couldn't get away from those defenders and I had to play a first time through ball there. And it's a lovely finish with his wrong foot. So, very happy with that goal. First time, kill around the keeper. Just in the side of the net. Seriously hope that this stays the same again now. They now lead by one goal. Well, when you look around the dressing room. Yeah, my hands are sweating now, to be fair. It's supposed to be a fun little chilled out game and I'm actually quite nervous right now, so give some pearls of wisdom. They're not allowed to. Well it may well be a case of who's got most to give now. Fitness levels look good, and it's not any less competitive. Just try and keep the ball or the try and attack at least. Free kick, kick. that's nice at the center pitch. It's 
So we've got Gerard going off, replaced by Arteta, obviously. So, like I said, it's automatic substitutions. And as you can see, actually, there, we've got AVB as our manager, which I didn't realise until right now. Oh, I missed that header. Yeah, I didn't realise AVB was actually the manager. And I haven't set that up, so that's obviously it's very strange. But also quite good. We've got Van Persie going off to replace White Silver. That's also quite a decent change. Uh, I'm not going to get that. I should have had a shot. So we've got like two or three minutes left. Let's just try and not do anything stupid again. And I like that mean giving the ball away is never a good thing. And if it gets in this position, all I'm going to do is hoof it clear. I apologise if it's boring, but that's what's needed. And there we go. Another 2-1. And that means we are in the final. Thank God for that. Let's just go through now and see who got man of the match. Steven Gerrard with 8. That's quite good. So here we go. Here we f now we find out who we've got in the final. And we are playing against the Serie A All-Stars who won 1-0 against the Liga and All-Stars. So we've got the likes of El Shirawi and Balotelli. And the likes of that to come in the final. So yeah, another 2-1 win. Which is good against a really tough team. And we've managed to get to the final. So there we go guys. That's the end of this video. And let's just check their team, what they've got. They've got Buffon, they've got Pirlo, Schneider. As I say, it is last season's teams, so they're not up to date as such. So there's still a few players that, you know, don't play in these leagues anymore, like Schneider, who's gone to Galatasaray. But yeah, I say that's a that's a tough team, but not as tough as the one we've just played. So hopefully we could we could actually end up winning this tournament, which is which would be nice. Okay guys. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you again next time.